All right, so we have a KitchenAid. It's the five door KitchenAid and we're not getting ice. You press your dispenser. And you hear nothing. The door opens, and that's it. So that means our auger is not responding. It could be frozen or shorted. So we're gonna take a look at that. And you wanna make sure you have ice, which we do. Temperature, uh, pretty good, 39. It should be a little colder, but we have a full thing of ice, so we are making ice. So the arm that turns is not doing its job. So I'm going to show you where the motor is to replace that. All right. First, we have to remove the ice bucket, and you press. There's a lever at the bottom. You press and lift. It comes right on out. Make sure the door is open all the way. in the fridge and so you're gonna have four Phillips screws and after you remove those you're gonna have four quarter inch I guess they're called screws they're yeah screws or nuts whatever I mean um, they're not a bolt they're screw yeah quarter inch screws and you're gonna remove those. And once you get those out, you can pull the auger motor out and we can examine it, take a look at it and see what's wrong with it. Chances are it's frozen. All right, so let's pull that out. All right guys, so here's the motor. I did not need a screwdriver, I just needed two hands. So that's the arm or gear system that turns and quarter inch. You can just leave your screws there if you want, if you don't have any extra hands. Those screws are gonna go right back in anyway, so it's a placeholder and you don't have to touch them. Last one. I can't, I can't see that screw. Working blind. It's telling me to close the door. We know. So now this should be free. You have two wires. All right, guys. So we have an auger motor. We just tried getting ice, and you can hear the motor not turning. Now, you could actually, well, you can feel them. They're actually cold, and you can see all this rust. So these things get, they freeze up and over time, just full of ice. Uh, I think those are vent holes, those two tiny holes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spray some WD-40. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of heat, I'm gonna use a torch. You don't wanna put a lot. I just wanna heat this and it's gonna allow the, the penetrant oil to flow a little better because this is plastic so you want to be super careful.
we're actually going to reuse this motor now a little bit of wd-40 and that's going to be seeping right in there see that sucked it right in now this arm it does turn sometimes not as easily as it should well, they can just use this and turn it um, it's rather difficult so sometimes you have to use uh, the impact on it um, it does rotates only I think it, I'm not totally sure guys but I know it goes in one direction so that's the key and if I'm not mistaken it is counterclockwise it rotates but Pretty much just tap it and until it's loosened. Sometimes this actually, this part actually pulls out, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I've done a few of these this way, and oh, no, you can hear it shaking. So we're definitely getting somewhere. Uh, these motors, there we go, the motor on the board, the relay, has a certain amount of resistance, so if it's too much, it will not rotate, it will just basically just don't dispense ice. Alright, so, I think we're free. I'm gonna spray just a little bit more. Now, these come with grease um, from the factory. So this WD-40 is just helping any rust that might be there. Uh, maybe a little more heat. And as the heat goes in, it literally penetrates and softens the grease that's already in there. And just makes everything a lot easier um, when you do have it on the ground be careful not to break those tabs off so if you do set it set it on the center so you can grab it and rotate it okay so that's clockwise now I could put it in my drill and rotate it make sure you're going clockwise You can see the drill moving. But that helps to agitate it, to loosen things up a little bit. But pretty much we're free, so we don't need to even do any of that. Um, let's try one more time. Yep. So. I don't think it goes. Let me see the other way. Okay, so it does rotate both ways, guys. So, all right. So, you can pack a little bit of grease, which I will do. Just pack this right around here, and that's going to stop any moisture from actually penetrating down into the motor, which will save the motor, okay? Um... It has a little sleeve and you can literally pack grease under that sleeve and that grease will be a well a seal and you won't have a problem there all right, all right guys this is what i'm talking about here uh, a little bit of grease just put it there that's going to be your seal okay And you can put a little bit there. It's not gonna hurt anything. Whatever excess, you can just wipe it off. And obviously you don't want it to come through that hole, but if it does, you just wipe it off. It is not the end of the world. Just like that. Put the excess back in. Still good. 
All right, so slide that down. She is good, and that will be a seal. Now, if you want, you could even do this, okay? Your ice bucket, um, it's not gonna be in any way, shape, or form touching the ice, okay? So, that'll be just in case any moisture were to travel, because this is rotating. Whole thing turns, so, any kind of moisture is just going to help to dissipate it, but you also have the bottom layer as another protector. And your icy bin will sit over this, and you can also just wipe the top off. And that's it. And we're ready for installation. Alright guys, here we go.